Hello, hello. Just out here for a hike with my son, Carson. Say hi, Carson. Oh, the ice. Don't go out on the ice, Carson, come on. Come on, all right. Um, just wanted to make a video real quick uh, about um, Carson, sort of Carson's journey and um, encourage people that uh, have a family member with autism or, you know, are a caregiver for somebody with autism about how it always, it, it gets better. I shouldn't say it always gets better because they do go backwards, but I would say always keep the faith, always um, believe in them because there have been some improvements that we've seen recently with Carson that uh, in the moment, a couple years ago, we never would have thought possible. Uh, one of these things is just the fact that he can stand in a line with us and not go running off. Um, that is huge because everywhere we went, especially in public places, we had to keep an eye or a hand on him, really, literally a hand on him so that he wouldn't run away. Now he, we don't look back to see if he's back there. I mean, obviously, occasionally we have to, but he's very good about staying with us. Um, so that's one of the things that I never would have thought that was possible. We had special locks on our doors in our house so that he couldn't escape. Now we don't, I mean, he can, he could leave if he wants, like, you know, but we don't have those locks on the doors anymore. Um, yeah, we didn't teach him that. He just aged out of it, I guess. And, you know, he is, uh, he's not, I guess, oh, look out, Carson. Hold on. You don't want to go in the ice. Come on, 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 come on. Um, he's not uh, super severe, which I guess would help. Um, but he's also, um, he's not, it's not a mild case or, um, you know, he's not barely on the spectrum or whatever. So, um, you know, he, he, he has some ability to speak. Now, he can read and he'll read out loud, um, but a lot of his uh, speech is, um, I guess you would say echolalia. It's things that he's seen on TV shows and stuff. So um, it's not, it's not really original thoughts a lot, but we've started to see them pop up. Now he's seven years old, so this could change. Um, I mean, he could, he could start speaking one day and we don't even know it. You know, we don't even, you know, that's happened before. We've heard of that. Um, or not, you know, it's whatever. We're, we'll just take anything we can get, any improvement. Um, so if you have a family member with autism, do not give up on them. Do not just become, uh, you know, despondent because it's like, oh, they'll never get any better. This is my life forever. Well, that's what we thought when he was two years old. And now... He is so much easier, so much easier. Um, and parenting him, honestly, it's tough because it's autism, right? Like they don't have, um, like this right here, Carson, get off the ice, please. Um, they don't have, uh, you know, the social skills. At least I can speak for Carson. He doesn't have the social skills that will allow him to make friends uh in the traditional sense there are people that he's he likes and who like him um but uh as far as like friendships as we know them he doesn't really have those so that's tough so we have to work on that or maybe that will come later i don't know um because you know i just have to take it one day at a time and look at everywhere we've been you know, uh, and not always think about where we're going. So, so yeah, I just want to encourage you to, um, to just keep the faith. It's, it gets better all the time and it goes backwards. Sometimes it goes back. You go two two steps forward, one step back, and maybe you don't see any obvious improvements for a year. They will come. Just give it time. Okay. We are going to continue this hike and, uh, get back to the house because it's kind of cold out here. Thanks for watching.